in the dark of the night. Okay, I've got a solar light behind me. Do you see that? I don't want to stay on long. I was actually going to do a video and I thought, gee, I can cheat. I can come out here and do it live. And that should answer most of your questions. And then I can put a video together another time. Look at the canyon. I am in a jacket, a long sleeve heavy coat, <laughs> long pants. And why? Because I don't want to get bitten up on mosquitoes. Oh, now you can't see anything. Hi, Mark. You know, I couldn't come on the other night because of the full moon because there was no moon. Well, it was cloudy, so we couldn't see it. I'm not going to stay on long. Every time I move, the lights go off. See this? I'm going to try to stay out of the light. Hi, Nina. Gary is in his garden. I'm not hiking down there. He's got 27 dragon fruit flowers to po hand pollinate tonight. So he's in the middle of doing that. And he said there's 15 in my garden. So there's some here and probably on the other side of the wall. We had a ton of them the other night and he couldn't do it. It was pouring and raining. So we're hoping we don't lose them. But if we do at this point, it probably doesn't matter that much. I haven't even seen him. I didn't come out water today. I was doing other stuff and I was gonna water and it got dark. Princess Pamela's world, hello, fig tree mom, hello. Mark Oliver already said hello. Good, let's keep the numbers down so it make it easier because it's hard to see. Let's see, so I see that one looks like it opened up last night and then this one isn't even open yet. We've got this one there. But I know there's like right there, one, two, three, four. It's about five there. He said he counted 15 tonight. Mine are growing in a pot, one of these pots, a plastic container. It's in the ground with a big hole under the container so the roots can go into the ground. So it started in a container and there's another one on the other side of the wall and that's growing also in a container, kind of a raised bed type thing. I plan on doing a whole bunch more dragon fruit if I can get to it. I have all kinds of ideas how to set them up. And we have been eating dragon fruit and watermelon. We've been eating a lot of those. Isn't that beautiful? They are beautiful flowers. So I don't know if we'll lose the ones from last night. I don't know how many there was. When he comes up, I'll ask him. But he said he could not pollinate them. The bees got in there just before it got dark and they emptied out a lot of pollen. He didn't have any extra pollen in the fridge. Or the, I think he keeps it in the fridge. And then it was raining and everything was wet. It was so, he never got to those. So now he's doing these, isn't that pretty? So here I am all rugged up in a coat, long pants, schwitzing, and you probably don't know what that is. Sweating like a, well, I don't know. Pigs don't sweat, do they? But I am not gonna get all bitten up by mosquitoes. Bees don't pollinate. They don't pollinate dragon fruit. We thought they did once, and I'm not sure, but the problem with they do, I don't think I can show you because it's so dark. So you'll have to go back and look at a video. The stamen comes up past the flower. No, when Gary comes up here, if he's got a light, I, I don't have a light. Um, it's The stamen comes up past the flower and the pollen is inside. The bees go in and they empty the pollen. They can't get in to the stamen at all. Think of it as a little tiny tube. So they don't go to that at all. If you had small insects that could grow, go inside, maybe tiny fruit flies or something, then they could crawl around in the pollen and then go into the tube. That's why it's gotta be done by hand. Now he's got another type of dragon fruit, but that one I don't believe has produced any flowers yet. He bought them last year. Now those, everything's in one group. So when the pollen gets dusty and it flies around, it can get into the tube because the stamen, this is, I can't do this with one hand, but the stamen is deep inside the flower and then the pollen will swish around and go in. But with this, it can't because it's way out. So it has to actually be hand pollinated. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, so that's why there, you'll see, sometimes you'll see self-pollinating, 
dragon fruit, that's a better one. My daughter actually went and bought one of them. They had to be hand pollinated, so she gave it to us. <laughs> she didn't want it. She said, you do it. And she went and bought herself. I think she's got self-pollinating ones. And that's because the stamen and the pollen are all in one area. So when the pollen swishes around, think of it on the bottom of my hand, it all just gets, the dust gets in there and it can self-pollinate. So even if bees got in there, they'd be shaking it around and then it would self-pollinate. Can't see anything. See, I shouldn't turn the light on, shouldn't I? So that's why he's got to hand pollinate. If he doesn't get to it and we're lucky enough that something got in there, then you may get them. A friend of mine's got some that have to be hand pollinated as well. He had like 10 fruit and one made it. So something got in there and got the pollen in there. So I don't know if we'll lose the ones, as I was saying from last night, a whole, a whole bunch of them opened up. But again, he couldn't get to them last night because of the rain and the bees had emptied out all the pollen. So tonight there's no bees. They all, they all just opened. From what I understand, he looked and he went, oh my gosh, he, he's, I can't get through here because of my, my wonderful big tree collared. So I, I'm going to have to trim this so I can get around, but he's down in his garden. Let me see if I can walk over here. Hold on. I know I'm shaking you all around. Let's so leave the gate open. There's nothing that's going to go in or out. No, we can't see. You don't want me to fall down the hill, do you? He is down there. See the lights? Can you see the lights? I'm not hiding. And my back. I, it's the first time I've seen a reconnect button. Am I back or am I gone? If I'm gone, I'm done. It says I'm back. Tell me, somebody tell me if I'm back. It says I'm live. I don't know. It said reconnect. Yes, I'm back. Okay, I won't go too far. I don't know why it's doing that. Sometimes my signal is fantastic. And then other times... I'll have to say it. It sucks. The other day it was like I had a download of 20 and they say, oh, you pay for 400. I have yet to see that. But uh, it was 300 the other day. Anyways, for some reason, that's not fair because it's right behind me. It should be able to go out here. Oh, I wonder if it's connected to the wrong one. It shouldn't be. How does it look? Is it clear? Is it buffering? Is it this? Is it that? So anyways, this is my garden at night. I should have waited till he came up. Now I'm wasting everybody's time. Look at that. So what did I do today? I... What did I do today? I threw a video together on watermelon. A really good update. And a little bit is in Gary's garden. Oh, I hear noises. And then I'll do a little walk until he comes back. And then I decided to do a little bit of a video in Gary's garden. So I think I'll put that up. Today is Monday. I think I'll put that one up Wednesday. And then I have to do some sort of garden tour. Maybe I should just do it now in the dark on Wednesday. And then I have nothing for Thursday, but I'm working on worms. Oh, that sounds lovely. It's good. Okay, so we have a good signal. I have no dragon fruit down here. Right now, I've just got the tree collards down this end, lemon verbena everywhere. I want to redo, well, I'm not going to redo the dog crates. I'm going to put buckets in there. I put some in here, but you can't see them. It's all eggplant in here. There's eggplant. That's what I see, a tomato plant growing in there, too. Here is where I'm going to put chairs. I'm going to leave my papayas. Isn't that pretty? And my moringa is drooping from the rain. That's interesting. We did not get rain today. They said it was going to rain, and it never rained. I could come back when Gary comes up if you want. I don't know when he's going to come up. I think he yelled he had 15 more to do. But here I would like to get some dragon fruit set up in buckets. So I'm going to try to do some cuttings this fall. Let's see if I can do that. I've got here, I've got all my brassicas. I love that one. I want to do a lot of cuttings off of that. I can't tell you what it is because it's a hybrid and it was developed here. And I love this plant. So I'm going to do more. All the fountains are off, of course. Can you believe this is collard? 
See what happens when you let collard go wild? <laughs> it turns into this funny tree and you just kind of trim it and then you end up with a beautiful plant that doesn't even look like you can eat it. And it is, it's edible. And the zinnias, I think the zinnias are fun because I only planted it once. Now I have all the zinnias. How hot is it in Southern California tonight? Um, I don't think we're that hot. I think right now we're probably about, I, I'm guessing, 70 to 75. The only reason I'm in a coat is I don't want to be eaten up by mosquitoes. Oh, La, okay, Latoya, I hope I have that right. Yes, you got me. I wasn't planning on going live. Not at all. And this was just, I thought Gary was coming up and I thought, well, maybe you can see him hand pollinate a few dragon fruit live. I've done it before, a couple years ago, I think. Iris Rose, hello. Isn't that pretty? It is pretty. Let me sit down. Let me sit down in the dark on my little chair. Isn't that pretty? I like the canyon view. Let's see. So who did I not? Chelsea. Oh, I hear Gary coming up. Uh, okay, I just talked to you. That's right, Chelsea. You're in New York. Yeah, we're not that hot. We're going to be down. Well, they said we were going to be in the 80s, but we were in the, I would say, in the 90s today. Tammy, hello. Uh, princess, I said hello. Mark says it's clear. Yeah, and I lost it. It said, now I, it's the first time I ever saw a reconnect button. So now I know what a reconnect button is. I was watching, what's his name? Bob Dingo. He was roaming around Vegas, and he said, oh, I have to reconnect. And I thought... Where do you find that? I went online, I couldn't find it. And today I got a reconnect button. Chelsea, you're a brand new listener to this channel. I am blind, so I do not do anything with gardening. They find this very relaxing to listen to. I'm relaxing. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. You're back. Yeah, okay, so now I went back. Um, Conky, we're C O N K Y B. Jenny, we're live, Gary. Okay. Did you fall down the hill? No, I didn't fall down the hill. I'm going way back now. I just got cut off when I tried to go down the hill. Show us what Gary's doing. I don't know what Gary's doing. He just came back. So how many exactly did you do in your garden? 26. 26? Oh, you lied to me. You texted me and said, I have 27. <laughs> well, I might have miscounted. He said he miscounted. No, so he did 26 in his garden tonight. That's not even counting the ones you couldn't get to yesterday. Wow, okay, I'm gonna let's see if I fall in my own garden or get caught up in dragon fruit here. Boy, that stuff gets sharp. So how does it look as far as pollen tonight? Good, the pollen count is good. Okay, because are you collecting some to keep or uh, no? I couldn't because I, I collected some, then I went up the ladder and I used it on the ones that were difficult to get to. Okay. So, I might change my brush. You have more than one brush? Yes. So he's got a little pencil box and he's got his brushes in there. I don't think I can get in there and stand over and watch you that close. I could try. Let's kind of walk around. So far, I haven't even heard any mosquitoes and I'm all rugged up. So which one are you doing first? I'm trying to get to the tall one. Yeah, see, my problem is this tree collar fell down and I'm trying to save it. Okay, you're gonna get to the tall one. Let's see how, I don't think there's room for both of us in there. Let's see if I can hold you up. Remember they're spiky. I know, I, oh, I know. I get caught on them all the time. I've got the camera above my head, so I can't see a thing. Can I lean on you? Like that? Yep. You have a, a flashlight? Yeah, in my hand here. Okay. I'm thinking they can see it. I tried to explain that you've got one that's self-pollinating, and that's when the stamen is down deep inside. Yeah, that'll be down further. So and it'll be it, down here. So okay. when I bang on this, all the pollen goes everywhere. So it, it's, if, with, if it gets lucky, it'll go up here, you know, float up and drop down. But if this was shorter, 
it'll drop down into it when it you won't be able to see it but it gets very dusty. Oh my gosh, you did 26 of them already? Mm-hmm. And you're not losing your mind? Well, this will have to be that for this one. I'm going to have to move. Oh, because so that I'm, means I gotta move. Okay. Yeah, because I am getting stuck. You're getting stuck. I have gotten stuck on this when I've walked in here. I'm stuck on the chair. I'm stuck on my tree collar. It's too dark. Oh, here comes the mice. He's got his little, his little kit he's put together. I love these. If you have a Walmart, get him a Walmart. I'm using them for all kinds of stuff now. They're 97 cents. We'll do more of that later. So he's got another one down there he's doing. I can hang on to something without falling. Mm. Considering where you are, it's about the best I can do. You have more on the other side of the ball too? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not going there. They're such beautiful flowers. I don't think I can go back there. See, that's the problem. I've got all these tree collards that are all over the place. Literally all over. If I knew I was going to go live, I would have brought at least my stick out that holds the camera. I was thinking of doing a video and I thought, nah, I'll just turn the camera on. This is easier. So you take the pollen from one flower to another so that it, get, it gets pollinated by different flowers? Not necessarily, but this pot. This flower here has got a lot of pollen, or it's dropped down on the petal, so it's easy to find. So I don't know if you can see the yellow there, but it's easy to pick it up off this one, where this one's kind of more upright, like a tulip, so it's probably all the way down the bottom. It's just oh, easy. Oh, that's a perfect one to show the, the stamen and the pollen. I can see it perfect in the light. You can really see how that one is way up high. And that the ones that are self-pollinating, it's all inside. Look at that. You can, if you don't shine the light too much on it, you can see it. Good. And right there. That's perfect if you want to point them out. Okay. So that's the female. Ah, uh, the male and the female. And the one that's self-pollinating would be deep in, that would be Yeah, that way would down. be way down. Isn't that something? So was that man-made, basically? Or no, a different, selective? a different species. A different species. Okay. And they have cross-pollinated them. Yeah, you know, they have hybridized them. Okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now, this is the heart of it. Oh, Chelsea, the flowers are beautiful. They're white. Let's see. Let me step back. Let me see. Chelsea, you are the one I want to talk to, right? Let me see something because there's so many. Oh, from, okay, Chelsea wants to know where you were from. He's from Australia. And I wanna make sure I've got Chelsea right. How hot is it? Oh, wait a minute, maybe it's not Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea is, okay, Chelsea is blind. And the flowers are large flowers. They're probably as big as your hand. And the center of the flower, it's a large white flower and it's, it's just beautiful, tons of petals, but really large with big white petals. And then the center is yellow and it's got all the pollen in the middle and then c coming up, not quite in the center, but off to the side comes, it looks like another flower. It's coming up and that's to the stamen and that's yellow. So the pollen is in the center of the white flower. And then the stamen 
is up on the top, almost to the top of the petals, but not quite. And that pollen's got to find its way up. In its natural environment, it would be probably some sort of moth or bat that would go into the center of this large bushy flower, pick up the pollen, and then for some reason it would try to probably go into the stamen and that's how it would get pollinated. We don't have anything here in Southern California that um, would pollinate it besides us. So let me see if there's... And well, that's 33 so far. Oh, well, oh, let me get out of your way. And if I move, the lights will go on. Okay. Hello, sunshine. Country chickens. They are, they're beautiful. And it's a shame there's no way to preserve them because it's, you know, some flowers you can press. This is, how would you describe that, Gary? Kind of, um, they mush. <laughs> In the morning, they literally droop. If somebody can describe it, I'll read it. They literally fall over by the next day and they just melt. They kind of almost melt away. And well, they do. They actually do almost melt away. He's on the other side now. What? You don't have any up there. There should be some up there from last night. I'm looking at them. Yeah, from last night. And they turn yellow, like a light yellow, and then they just droop down, and then they eventually just kind of shrivel up. And then the fruit, which is green right now, which you can't see a thing because it went dark. Let me see if I can get the light to go back on. The fruit, let me see if I can show you. This is the fruit right there. Let's see, where's my finger? Right there, it's gonna turn red. And that, once it turns red, you know you got it. I've got a lot of fruit on the other side. What? Here's, here's the right fruit. Oh, okay, just, there's I a just fruit. just picked. Ooh. So I don't, it's I don't remove. It's a small one, but they're good. Yeah, I don't remove that. So okay, a so lot the of people flower, remove that. They remove, why would they remove it? Because if in a more humid environment, that could rot. Okay. But I haven't had an issue here, so no, I just. just protects it too a little protects bit. Protects it. I wait until these turn brown. So the fruit turns red. Try and turn the light on. And then this, this you just, you can cut it off, but the thing is if we pull it out or cut it off, you could get insects in there and we can leave it here, we're drier. So see, see insects could get inside of it if you pull it off. See how there's like, like a hole? So if you pulled it off, theoretically insects can get in there and try to eat it before we do. By leaving it, you're not gonna have the insects. And so the dried flower, I was trying to say it would melt, but it kind of just melts and dries away. It, it, it stays adhered to the fruit. And now that is just ready to come in, just slice it in half. And the fruit inside of this one is white. A kind of a, not a custardy, kind of a, how would you describe that? A it's, kind of, very, it's kind of got the consistency of a kiwi fruit. Okay, you're right, like a kiwi fruit. So it's a little bit white with black seeds and it's sweet. You just eat the seeds and all because seeds are so small. So you'd be like eating a strawberry, except the seeds are on the inside. So it's small seeds. You don't have to take the seeds out. Unlike a pomegranate, I don't eat the seeds. So I hope I can, I hope I describe that to you. So you know, uh, let's see. How do you eat it? Yeah, it's that simple. Um, Latoya wants to know, you just cut it in half and just, Literally just take it like this, cut it in half like you would do an egg lengthwise, not the other way, lengthwise like an egg. And then Gary eats half and I eat half. And it's so odd because when you cut it, let me step back. It's red, just in the in inside is red as well, but you can't eat the red. It's not that it's bad or anything. It doesn't taste like anything. It's kind of hard. It's, there's nothing to eat. It's very bland. Sometimes they give it to the dogs a little bit. They think they're getting something special, but there's no taste. It's the white part. Now there are fruits that are red, but the red part on that, you don't eat. I'm standing in there. So let's see. No, there's no mosquitoes right now. The other night I got all bitten up and that is why I'm in a coat. You can't tell, but I'm in a jacket. And I thought I am not getting bitten up. So. So I hope, yes, it's it's beautiful. It's almost like an orchid. That Maybe that's the way, but a big orchid, a big fluffy orchid. 
it doesn't have any smell. So there's no beautiful aroma coming out of it or anything. It just looks really pretty. And they generally open in the e My neighbor's calling me. Hello? Hello? They can hear me talking. <laughs> So, uh, that's my neighbor. Uh-oh. What? Did you watch the forum? Yes, I did. What did you think? I'm going to let you know I am live on the internet. Um, I think it was fantastic, and I think it was very one-sided. You got... So Sorry, everybody. Give me a second. You got such tough questions... And he got nothing. Sorry. Gary? Yeah. You're gonna have to, oh you gotta you you're gonna have to tell him I'm live. That's my neighbor. He I think they heard. They heard? Okay. They're such sweet people. He was just on TV. Long No, he's actually on on an internet show. Okay, so and they just gone home. Let's see. Strawberries, the seeds are on the outside. Correct, Mark. I was trying to explain that they're edible seeds, where there's some seeds you don't want to eat, or they're hard, or sometimes I don't even like raspberry seeds, those are hard. You wouldn't even know the seeds are in this fruit. So that's what I was kind of trying to explain, but you are right, it is on the outside. Let's see, do I have any other questions? Kelly, homesteading with Pooh Bear. Sending lump from Apple Valley. Oh, cool. Let's see what else. No, I lost count already. How many did I have coming down here? I don't think Mark is the one. We should have Mark say, did he? Mark, were you counting? 33. My neighbor. <laughs> Mark says, show, show the neighbors. <laughs> I, they're across the hill. You can't see them. You, you could not see across the hill, but they're across the hill. And here it's so quiet. You can hear anybody very far away. If my daughter yelled, she'd be way down there somewhere. Probably could hear too. So let's see. Haha, -ha, you just woke the whole night. I probably did. The neighbors probably think I'm crazy. They go, this lady goes outside and talks to herself in the dark. I haven't done that for a while though. When, when did I do it? At the blood moon, I think I did it one other time. Oh, people, I think they just ignore me. Maybe that keeps them away. <laughs> what time is it here? Gary, what time is it? Is it 10? I'm not sure. Okay, Gary will tell us when he's done. Irish Rose, hello. Mark's telling me it is 10.30. Really? Really? My neighbors are so funny. She brought me ice cream the other day. She wanted me to cool off. <laughs> um, kiwis and strawberries. I'm hungry. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a kiwi fruit. That's the perfect example, except kiwi inside is green with black seeds. This is white with black seeds. Though, that's what I was saying, they have other fruits that are red on the inside, and I think there's a yellow one as well. I don't think we have a yellow. Gary's got the red, but they haven't produced yet. I'm trying to go through if I take if I'm quiet from it's 7:30 and white. Mark, that's why you're always here first, because you're here before I am. So I know you're only 7.30. It's 1.30 here, but Jenny, where are you? New York, back east? No, 10, 11, 12, one. Yeah, you would be back east. And the hummingbirds don't eat it. No, it's midnight. Five here, Corbin Black. Oh, here we go. You didn't fall down the ladder, did you? No, I dropped my flashlight. Uh-oh. Uh, you want me to get a flashlight? Uh, I've got it. Okay, Gary dropped his flight, but he's okay. Jenny's in South Carolina. Let's see. Do the red ones taste different? Gary, do the red dragon fruit, are they sweeter or no? Um, I'm trying to think if we ever had one. I've never had a red one, but some people say they are a bit sweeter. There's different varieties. They've I've crossed them to get different varieties that do taste sweeter. Okay. And some people think they're bland, like a bland kiwi. The red ones? The white ones. The white ones. I don't think they're bland. I don't either, but if you bought them from the store, they might be. 
Okay, so we're not sure yet. We'll have to wait till we have a red one. Some people say they're sweeter. I don't know. I'm fine with the white ones. The only problem is the white ones do have to be hand pollinated where the red ones are self pollinating. I also have a purple. You have a purple? Yep. See, I don't even know what he's got down there. I haven't, it hasn't fruited yet or flowered. No, look, we can see Gary through there. You can just see him. Isn't that romantic through the flowers? There he is. Look at that. What a perfect shot. I wish I could get a photo. He's got a flashlight in his mouth and he's doing flowers. Oh, Starbucks. Let's see. Catnip. Wallach. She says, let's see. Starbucks has a dragon fruit refresher. Okay. How do I pronounce this? Smoke. Makam. Oh, Gary, help me from Indonesia. M O K H A M A D. And then the last name A M I N U D I N. It is 12 30 p.m. Oh, that's noon. You're probably the next day. Uh, let's see. Nice. 12 hours difference. Okay, so Texas is 12 32. Sunshine. Country Kitchen, chickens, sorry. Country Kitchens, obviously somebody's hungry. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Corbin Black, let's see, San Antonio. Okay, wait, I think I'm going too far back. How much is a gallon of gas? You know, it's come down. It had gotten close to $8, but I think they're down to five something now. So it ha has come down a little bit. I don't know, I don't drive that many places anymore. What time? Is everyone oh, okay? Mark started this. That's why everybody's throwing their time out. Do the red ones? I think I've gone back enough. Okay. Okay. Hundred one thirty-three and boring upstate. Oh, uh, one thirty. That was one hundred and thirty-three degrees. It was like what? New York. Let's see. And New York is starting to rain. Oh wait, it does it all the time. <laughs> That's Chelsea. Oh, well, they said we were going to get rain today, and it got cloudy. You'll probably see it in the video I decided to post tomorrow instead of today. That's probably why I, I went live, because I was going to post it this evening. I finally got it together, and then it was like, ah, I'll just wait till tomorrow. But, uh, oh, look, all the flowers are moving. But um, it was real cloudy, and then it didn't rain. And they, they said it was rain. Even Alexa told me twice it was going to rain. She told me this morning it was going to rain. And then she said this evening it was going to rain. Okay, so that's what Gary does. He climbs on a ladder at night. You know, I've got to remember that when he goes outside to do this, if he doesn't come back, I better start looking for him. Wow, you did a lot of flowers tonight. Oh, we should give our neighbors a fruit, uh, dragon fruit. I wonder if they've ever had one. You guys are from all over the place. Nobody's from California. Let's see. It rained randomly here today, and it wasn't supposed to. Uh, Latoya. It wasn't supposed to. It, it, it was supposed to rain here, and we didn't get it. I wasn't planning on watering, and I didn't water tonight. I was going to come out and water, and I didn't. 3.39. Wow, for gas? Okay, Lat um, Latoya's in San Diego. You're, we're, you're much more south than us. Now, you got rain the other day, though. Let's see, Mark is getting goofy. I think I've answered everybody. So that's it. Now, now we're all standing in the dark, doing nothing. It is pretty. No moon. If we had a moon tonight already up, which we don't, I've got to be careful backing up. The other side of the pine tree. Oh, there's the moon. Okay, so we won't get the moon for another couple hours, and then the whole place will be lit up. So right now the moon is blocked. South Carolina. Okay, so you're done? Yeah. You did them all. Did I say 27 up here? You told me 27 in yours and 15 in mine, and now it was 26, so I had 15. 15 plus another 12. There were 12 here? 12 down below there. There were 12, not counting this? 
Well, I'm better count things again. Oh my goodness, because you texted me and you said I'm doing 27 in mine. And you said 15 in, 27 in yours, you said. No, see, we're, we're backwards because he said mine, which was his. And then you said I'm doing 15 in yours. Okay, I did 18 here. You did 18 here? Yeah, 18. Oh my gosh. I hope a lot of them make it. You know, if you want to get a knife and cut this one, we can see what it looks like, then we can yeah, bring it in I, and eat I, it. I'm saying, I'm then we can explain. Then they'll see what it looks like. I'm sure most people have eaten it. I don't know. I never even ate yeah, dragon fruit until of, we grew it. What? That's a little bit of pollen left over. Oh, that's good. So you I've save got a it? Little, yeah, I'll save it. I'll put this in the fridge. This is just a little... Uh, it's a little ramekin. Ramekin. And I... I Shows a blue one because the pollen shows out and it's easy to see at night. So I have a question. Where'd you get that? I don't remember. <laughs> I remember seeing it. Oh, how pretty. Plastic? No, I don't know. Hard plastic. Hard plastic, yeah. So I'll just put it in a Ziploc bag and set it in the fridge. Oh, sorry. I see Chelsea. I'm using dictation on my phone rather than typing on my screen. So my spelling may not come in. Don't worry about that. I just love spell check. I have sent things to people before. It's like, what? You hit send and then it spells checks it. And you, it's like, oh, for goodness sakes, I didn't write that. So yes, we all know about spell check. The wonderful world of spell check. We can, if I was a kid, I could have blamed that on a lot of schoolwork. Are you still back there? Yeah, I'm getting, getting my kit. Anyway, so we were talking about, let me scroll back for a minute. Uh, Farah, you're in Belgium. You got three days of rain. That's really nice. Harvest moon was last night. Mark, we had clouds. I didn't, you had told me we had clouds last night. So I couldn't come on. You were saying, come on for the harvest moon. And Latoya collected 85 gallons of water. I'm going to have to do something like that soon. South Carolina's Tara. We were talking, what city is that in the background? You know, I should know. I'm going to be honest. I'm not 100% sure because it goes way, way back. Um, I'm not sure. I think there's, you maybe, what would be back there? I'm trying to think of the cities. Placenta, Placenta. Um, there might be Brea and Fullerton, Laguna. It's, it really goes back far. In fact, the realtors told me if I looked real hard, I could see the ocean. That was a lie because the ocean goes that way and they would have had to take the mountain down and they were trying to sell me the house by telling me I can see the ocean on a clear day. Okay, so we don't get a lot of clear days, but that wasn't true. The ocean is that way. <laughs> so I can't see as far as San Diego. I think Gary went to get a knife, so he went to get something. It is pretty here. It's nice. It's nice that you're close enough to the city within minutes to go shopping, and yet you're just out of the city. So Jenny missed the harvest moon because of the rain, and kind of the same thing here. We had clouds, though. And I don't know how well really you can. Crazy. Can you say that um, or not? You know what? Let's walk over here. Right here. Oh, you can bring that thing over. It's, I just, uh oh. I almost knocked everybody off. <laughs> we were talking about Crazy Farm Girl. Hello. Gary's going to cut it. Watch, it'll be full of bugs. And stuff. <laughs> I've never had one like that. What's the temperature there? I think it's, I think we're in the, in, in the 70s. pretty? I know you can't tell, but it really is white. Kind of pretty white. See, oh, come on, go back on. <laughs> okay, we, we're going to burn the, the solar light out. There you go. And yet the pink looks so beautiful and you can't eat it. Maybe you should hike down and get one to my neighbor. You think he wants one? All right. Uh, he can't talk. He's got a flashlight in his mouth. <laughs> Did 
the pink looks beautiful and yet it's not really edible. It just doesn't taste, see, isn't that beautiful? I guess you could juice it, but there's absolutely zero flavor in there. Just kind of a hard texture and zero flavor. Oh, you got a heater for the hummingbird. I haven't done that yet. I may have to look into that um, for cold nights. So that is, you can cut it in half. I'll take a piece. That is so good. The dog really loves it. You have more dragon fruit than mine, don't you? Or not ready? Oh, he still can't talk. He still has a flashlight. It's so easier if you just ate that half. Yeah, but I just was going to grab a piece. Otherwise, it'll be... Yeah, that's... Isn't that cool? Mmm. Mmm. I don't think we've ever had a bad one. You should go around and give our neighbor a fruit. If the lights are still on. The lights are off. The lights are off already? Yeah, they going in, so. So that's a dragon fruit. Wow. And that's a small one. They get really big, yeah, too. We've got bigger, just some of them have been smaller, some are a little bigger. This one's in what the... What does it remind you of? You said kiwi. Kiwi, yeah. But it's softer than kiwi, and kiwi's tangy. This is just sweet. Yeah, it's softer than kiwi. It's sweeter than kiwi. It's not super sweet but it's got a nice sweetness to it yeah it's a it's it's not quite creamy it's exactly like kiwi when you think about it maybe a little softer but there's no bite there's no tang to it no, it's it just, have just tang real sweet of a kiwi. so there it is we got to get one to my granddaughter too do you know they're like eight nine dollars in the store they're expensive they would be a little bit bigger in the store yeah. It is really good. In the beginning, I looked at it when he first started growing it. It was like, I don't know. I've never eaten anything like that. Okay, so Jenny got some at the Asian market. You can get them even at the regular grocery store. You probably got a better price because I think Albertsons had it for like eight ninety nine. I went in there once. I think Walmart sells them too. Yeah, I'm not I think sure. they have gone down a little bit because they import a lot from Thailand and um, probably Vietnam, and there are a lot of farms here now growing it. Okay, but California. this wasn't even that long ago. When Deborah buys it for Linnea, yep. she told me they're still six, seven dollars a piece. Again, they'll be a little bit bigger, but they're not cheap. Industrial sleep, hello. Yeah, this is really cool. So I guess that's it. Sonia from Texas. The city is moving to me, Ugh. New homes being built. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. They're, they're going to do that out here. They're going to take places that were designated for an acre, and now they're letting you build other homes on it. So little by little, a lot of these places that were half acre or one acre lots are now going to start There's having a homes. hummingbird moth coming in. <gasps> a hummingbird moth? To the, well, it just took off. Some sort of well, they go into the some flowers? sort of sphinx moth was going around the dragon fruit. They might. Maybe they do go in. Maybe that's why you luck out, and sometimes you end up with fruit. I lost the one that we were talking about. Um, I guess I'll have to talk about another time. The pencil box. Okay. Okay. Irish rose had rained and thunder thundered so hard there. Are you in San Diego? I can't remember. I have to get away home from the airport. I'm not sure where she is. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Two eighty nine for gas in Texas? Oh, Missouri City, Texas. I think we're finally down under six. I think. No. Yeah, but I've, that's where most of the refineries are now. We're just ridiculous. They've shut down most of the refineries here. Is from Belgium. Mark wanted to harvest moon the other night. <laughs> okay, I thought I saw it. It's probably way, way, way gone. So, anyways, we have been on for 45 minutes until Gary. I'll only be on for 15, 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. Crazy farm girl. Thank you for the 199. Do you think brick? Wait a minute. Do you think brick is key in keeping a live winter.
I don't know. Do you know what that means? <laughs> brick. Brick is key. Do you think brick is key? Oh, <gasps> you know, I'm going to knock everybody off. Do you think brick is key in keeping a live winter? Brick. Do you think? Crazy girl. Is she referring to the concrete block walls? Oh, I don't know. I thought this was a this was a quiz. I don't know. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get hold on to this. I gotta get some water. I think the seeds and the fruit got to my throat. I'm gonna go get some water. You got it? Yep. Talk. I'm gonna get a little water. <laughs> Oi. Mm. Yes. Track houses being built all around a couple miles away. Oh, I don't know how to bring that back. Alright, okay, brick, key to keeping dragon fruit alive in the winter. Where I've got mine, in my garden, I don't have a brick wall nearby. So it's, in Southern California, they do just fine. And in South Florida, they'll do just fine. In fact, in South Florida, they grow faster. In our climate, they'll, we can grow a lot of tropical plants, but they don't necessarily grow as fast as they do in, say, South Florida or other more tropical places. Okay, uh, there aren't any critters around. It's been pretty quiet for coyotes actually tonight, Mark. So I haven't seen anything yet. I can hear owls moving moving around, and I've seen a few different moths, but nothing big. Got to let you do this for a while. Uh, here's the issue: your <gasps> this keep, keeps disappearing on me. Yeah. So what you do is this this takes you down. And you put your finger there, and hopefully, see you can go back that way. Hopefully you don't knock everybody off when it says you want to okay. knock everybody okay. off. Okay, it just disappears off the screen. It does disappear, okay. but you have to tap it and bring it back. And sometimes I tap it and it says, do you want to cancel everybody out? It's like, no, no. I think the neighbors went to sleep. I texted them. Hang on. See, see. No, no, I no, can't no. use yeah. your phone. No, no, it just okay. I don't know what's going on here. Just it's half cancel. No, 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 no. No, I don't know where. Okay, let go. Sorry, we're still here. And you, you know, can actually take everybody. Okay, off. I don't have my reading glasses. It, it, it doesn't matter. I've actually knocked people off too. No, but I mean to read the comments. Oh, to read the comments. Did you figure out what the brick was? Yeah. Okay, crazy farm girl. She's in Mon Montgomery, Texas, 8B. Oh, okay. We got Arctic winds last year. Have had a beautiful dragon fruit growing next to a cement fountain until the freeze. Okay, I see. I guess she's trying to find out if that's what keeps our dragon fruit going. Yeah. Good. Yours are all growing up against the no. Yeah, they're not growing against the wall. No, but we're ten A. Ten. We're ten A. Okay. 10A. So in zone eight, yeah. If you had a brick wall, that would. Help them, help them, or and if you can enclose them in some way, maybe cover them with plastic when it starts to cool off. I, I don't know. So they don't like freezing weather. No. They're, so there's a a small wall here, and you're saying, but look how they're growing out away. Oh, but the base, the trunk of the plant, yeah. is up against the wall. But I don't think I don't think that matters all that much. We, we're in the zone where we can grow them because they do grow them in Central California too. Okay. Chelsea says she, she just, this oh, crazy farm girl is dropping. There we go, it's 2.99. Thank you, crazy farm girl. 
I'm trying to help. Thank you so much. It's really greatly appreciated. Sometimes just having the base of the plant protected can make a world of difference. I've grown basil all winter because the base of the plant's got a cut off plastic, what would you call, um, oh my gosh, I lost it, the, the coffee jar. And I've cut the bottom off so you have this big plastic coffee jar and I drop it over the basil, it's hard to explain. And the plant will grow up past it, but because a big portion of it is blocked and kept warm. Are you showing me something? No, I just Oh, okay, no, that's good. Um, it it protects the whole plant and then the plant grow all winter. I've done that with peppers and so has Gary. He did it with peppers not knowingly. He had peppers all winter and that's because you put it in a um, dishwasher, my was dish, it? My dishwasher uh, planters. In the dishwasher, which is metal, but he didn't fill it. So it was like part way down. So it was kind of sticking up like it was down about eight inches. It protected the base of the plant and the plant continued to grow all winter and just give peppers because you're basically tricking it. It thinks it's warmer, even though the top is cooler. Aluminum dairy seeds. Uh, let's see, the white dragon fruit is sweeter than the pink ones. Okay, okay. Sonia says it's, it's sweeter. So I like the white, so I have no complaints. I think it's really sweet. See, um, okay, and, and how do you pronounce this name? You don't have your glasses at all? No, I don't. M O K. I want to get Hang the on. name right. You know, I do have my glasses. You do have your glasses. You just want me to hold this and do it. It's so beautiful tonight. Just and so far, I'm not bitten up that I know of. Okay. Mohammed. Amenadin. Okay, so he's in Indonesia. In Indonesia. We have a lot of dragon fruit. We have white and pink inside. Okay. Cool. I have a plant like that, but the flowers are pink. Do I have a dragon fruit? Oh, that's Pomposa. Um, there's some plants that look like dragon fruit but they're not dragon fruit yeah there's there's a number of they're not plants edible that are there's a term for it tropical cactus climbing cactus that could be that, that sounds right flowering. one of them's night blooming i'm trying to think what they're called i i wouldn't know but i we, know we had one years ago we got from shelly we had one yeah Oh, yeah, the one fun. that was throwing those flowers at, only at night? Only at night, yep. I forgot about that plant. Okay, yeah, but it, it never threw fruit, just flowers. Yeah, and they, they do bloom at night too, like dragon fruit. Dragon fruit normally bloom at night. Owls sometimes bloom in the morning, and sometimes they bloom early, late in the afternoon. So these weren't... If they... Bloom in the afternoon, we've got a problem because the bees come in and they take all the pollen. But if they bloom at night like this, then um, I can get out and I can pollinate them. Otherwise, if I'm battling with the bees, I don't uh, get all the fruit to set. Tara, <laughs> Tara wants to know when you're gonna have your next video out. Coyotes. The first coyote I've heard tonight. Mark was ask, asking about the critters. There are critters. We can't do much about that. No, I hadn't seen any yet. I haven't seen, but any. I just heard some, but those are smaller critters. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll get my next video out. I'm but, working on it. But I did do a small video today of you that I should have out by Wednesday. I haven't looked at it. I just went down and yeah. followed Gary around and did a little something because I did something on watermelon. So hopefully it looks okay. I haven't even looked at it. And if it's okay, I'll have it up Wednesday. Kiwi, dragon fruit, yum yum. Kitty's in the house, right? Yes. Okay. Kitty, dra uh, kitty. Kiwi, dragon fruit, yum yum. Dragon fruit. Let's see, yellow, $7 a pound, uh, six, four. Okay, I'm reading your prices, that's crazy. Farm Girl, Wellspring Garden has three inch. Oh, you're talking about the plants. 
for 11 okay, 11 to $13. Let's see critters. <laughs> Mark wants to see critters. Let's see, gotta go to sleep, my sewing course. Let's see, bye. Okay, Farah, bye. Um, forgot what else we were talking about. Oh, anyways, so I think that's that happy birthday. Happy bur- did I miss something? Wait a minute, I was right. happy birthday, crazy farm girl. Did I miss that? I didn't see that. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Today's my birthday and my son's at boot camp. I will be going to graduation in San Diego on the 28th. Oh, wow, congratulations, happy birthday. Gary, do you wanna sing? I'm not. No, I don't sing. <laughs> we don't wanna lose subscribers. <laughs> So happy birthday. All right, so I think we've done enough for tonight. We'll bring that in and eat the rest of it tonight. I was gonna have watermelon, but it's too late for watermelon. Yeah. I picked a bunch of watermelon today. I know, I know we can't move around too much with the phone, but I'm going to check for, uh, I'm going to check the tomatoes with the black white. Well, My tomato? No, for some reason I just moved over there and it got disconnected. So I must have a really bad service right now and the plug I bought was not the right plug I was going to plug my phone directly into the internet and it's not the right plug so all right well I think that's it there's no critters there was coyotes in the distance but I don't hear them anymore every night is different there's another plane got a lot of planes so again happy birthday crazy farm girl thank you too Let's see, yesterday I harvested my, how do you spell that, queen? Hmm. Put my glasses back on. Quinoa. Oh, quinoa, okay. Wow, let's see. All right, well, I don't think I can get through all this. All right, I think we're gonna go in. We could do this again. Are we gonna have more flowers? Yeah, what we've got more flowers. Yes. Um, this one here. Yeah. What kind of plant is that? Oh, okay. I'm going to have plants looking at flowers. Oi, 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 careful, careful. That's a pot. So I said you got to be careful. There's yeah, pots well, all over. So this, in a couple of days, that one will be ready to flower. As and well, more that there. one there. But we do have more flowers. Just not, right now we've got a big burst of them. The past couple of nights. Missed a few last night because of the rain, but. I know, I hope some of them still get pollinated, but I don't know how that would happen in the rain, but we'll see. Geez, there's gotta be hundreds and hundreds of fruits on here right now. Yeah, there's gonna be quite a lot. Well, we should get quite a few. They're not all gonna make it. But... So these ones, are, I think these look like they've set. You can pretty much tell right away when they've set. They don't yeah, go brown. They, they stay green and then they, they stay green and then they continue to grow. Yeah, if they don't set, they'll tend to go yellow. I don't see oh, that's any. right. I saw a yellow one. There's a red, a little tiny red one down there. Yeah, a tiny red one down there. Um, oh wait, is this a bad one? <laughs> They're looking for a bad one. Is that a bad one next to it or no? No, it's no, a leaf. Uh, We're looking for a bad one. Yeah. How about shine? No. We're looking for one that didn't take. There's a big red one back there. The other day, I thought I saw a little yellow one. Yeah. See. You, and you got see. that flower, right? Thank you. Let's see, that one took or no? Yeah, that one took. That one did take. So if they don't take within a day, wait a minute, here, no? So we can't find the bad to find one. a yellow one. They turn yellow if they don't take. And you'll know right away. And then the ones that take, stay green and if all is well, I don't know if they'll be nice and big because there might be way too many and maybe they'll, they'll be smaller if we, I, I don't know, maybe you're supposed to prune them off. See that, they'll look like that, but kind of like that. So that's a bad one? That one never opened. That one never opened. It'll be something like this, but larger. You have to be careful because this stuff is growing all over my garden. And believe you me, these are sharp and they get me. A lot of times I'll be walking through and I won't even know. See how they're coming through? That's why I want to do, look at this. They're coming through everywhere. This is, you can't touch them. See, this one probably took, otherwise it would turn brown. So that's from the other night. 
I don't know if you can hear the coyote. Now it stopped. I heard the coyote. It's across the hill. That's why my neighbors can hear me. They go, oh, the crazy neighbors are out there talking themselves in the garden again. And I don't know if you can hear the coyote. That's a coyote, but it's not, it's not here. <laughs> okay, so there's the shoe box. I love those shoe boxes. I keep thinking I'm gonna get around to doing the video on them, but boy, do I have a use for those shoe boxes. I went nuts and bought like 10 of them, 97 cents. It's so still. You can hear the crickets too. No frogs. Will is telling me I can, Will says, did you know that you're using the skin of the dragon fruit can be applied to your face to tighten your skin? Boy, I need that. <laughs> I'll have to try that, look that up. This is fun to listen to. Let's see, this is Chelsea. I should come around more often. If you guys don't mind me asking crazy questions, of course, come around, ask crazy questions, absolutely. I mean, what could be crazier than your neighbors screaming across the hill? Hey, hello. <laughs> Look at this. This is fun. This is so pretty. And then 4th of July, the whole place is lit up. No fireworks. It's illegal. And you see thousands and thousands of fireworks. This is really, it's, you can really see it good. Look at that. Okay, I think we're going to go in and... Maybe we'll do this another night. It is pretty out here. I don't want to go in. <laughs> okay, let me step back before I break my neck in my own garden. I actually came out here and worked a little bit today. I took my dog out here, the one that's going to be 17 soon. And she is blind and deaf. But she actually had a good time. I was surprised. She walked around and I straightened out a little bit. And then I brought her in the house. I don't bring her out that much because I, I, I worry. I can't even get her in an air-conditioned room because she panics when it was hot because it's not her place. But she did okay. We, we stood in the garden for a little bit. All right. Anything else you want to say? No, that's it. You want to say goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> he breaks into routine. No, but, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed looking at the dragon fruit. Oh, we've bored uh, like 50-plus people, so... Yeah. Well, at least they could click off, click off if they don't want to see us. We need to do a rain dance. Yeah, we got a little rain. I think it... Is that Anissa? Yeah. Anissa's home! I don't know if she wants to be alive. She's coming home from school. My granddaughter's coming home from school. Yeah. That's her breaks. You're live. What? You're live. Oh, hi. We're, we're doing dragon fruit. What's that? We're pollinating dragon fruit. Oh, do you want me to go and close the gate? Yeah, go ahead and lock it. Okay. All right. All right. So she's home from school. I'm going to go in and eat dragon fruit. I don't think I'm going to have watermelon tonight. It's kind of late. Kind of walk through. And. That's it. It's just so pretty and peaceful. Can't think of anything else. Yeah, I can't think of anything. All right, we'll do this again. It was fun. And maybe we'll, we'll come out on, well, I don't know if we'll have another harvest moon, but we'll do this again. All right, so it's going to be too hard to say goodbye to everybody. There's so many. Nunya, N-U-N-Y-A buzz. Thanks for this. Oh, you are so welcome. Irish Rose, Will. Crazy, crazy farm girl. Thank you. Let's see, red fruit, number two, white. She's going over the fruit. Team yellow. Dragon fruit. Oh, she's doing team yellow. Red dragon fruit, number two, white. Red dragon fruit, number three for me. I like the, I like the white. Uh, totally not lily. Dragon fruit is my favorite. You know, and I never had dragon fruit until, I guess, until you grew it, really. We never yeah. bought it. I never, no, didn't never even know what it was. It. Boring is great, the Craig. Let's see, uh, we are getting ready for bed. 
Yeah, we're going to have to go do that too. I think my neighbors went to bed already. It got quiet. It's very quiet out here with the noisy ones. Oh, we're the noisy neighbors. They can't complain because of all the uh, coyotes. So the coyotes drown us out. Sonia from Texas. Caroline, I think a night. Uh, crazy farm girl. Let's see. Oliver, good night. I think that's it. Chelsea, good night. And I don't want to miss anybody, but there's so many. Linda, Shanky, Shankle, Chan. Oh, I'm real. I'm great at butchering names. S H A N. Well, it'd be ankle, Shankle. Uh, let's see. Good night. If you're still there. M O K. <laughs> I was gonna say good night. Muhammad, uh, he's better at it. I had his name earlier. Muhammad, if we're not, if we're saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. Good night. Uh, Oliver's saying it's only 11. I think I've gone through pretty much everybody right now. All right, so we're going to go. We're going to sign off. It was fun, and we probably will do this again soon. Bye, everybody. If I can find the goodbye. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and wave goodbye. You can Bye. sign us off. Bye-bye. Have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Kimberly Hogg. Hello. And I guess we're going. Everybody's now. David, the right one. Uh, John Jacob. Uh, Jingle. Oh, there's a whole bunch of there. Is saying goodbye. Crazy Farm Girl. Did you do this again? Thank you, Tara. Okay, I think I'm, I'm good. Happy birthday, Rue Sarah Connor. I just got here. I know, but we're leaving. Oh, Maria. Hello. Good night. And man, 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 M-A-N-P-R-E-T-T. -T. Good night. Okay, so we're going to go. We've done our fruit. And we're going to let the neighbors get some sleep. Have a great day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. Good evening. Take care, Maria. Happy birthday, crazy farm girl. Bye-bye. Oh,